Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. We are back at Galloper's Keep because uh, there's some new quests that- Oh, quest up there too? There's some new quests that have been added. I didn't realize there'd be a quest up there. Because I had a look at the quest log. Oh, it was Field Recon. I thought there was a quest that sees farm, but it was the wrong thing. So there's two quests that we can- um, Two new quests that we can do here in Galloper's Keep. Let's uh, start with this Frighten Spectre. I have Rain Dancer with me again. Oh, why are you so scared? What is this place? How did I get here? You, have you heard of the phantom witch roaming around Yorvik? I was riding around Golden Leaf Forest when I came face to face with her. Suddenly I was being surrounded by darkness and I recognized a shadow looming over me. I was looking over my shoulder, trying to run as fast as I could, but the witch's magic surrounded me. When I awoke, I found myself here in this keep, her ghastly figure retreating into the skies. As she flew away, a letter flooded to the ground. Did she drop it unintentionally, or was she luring me into going after her? Uh, I don't know. You can have the letter if you want, but beware. The witch will surely seek to find what is rightfully hers. Okay, so pretty sure this is the witch's gambit, yes. So, have you witnessed the phantom witch? Oh wait, I think they already told us. Okay, so that's the witch's gambit. It's like Galloper's gambit, but different. I've done Galloper's uh, gambit before. Um, but we'll try the Witch's Gambit, um, I'm pretty sure we get double the, um, Soul Shards if we win. Okay, Mysterious Message which summons the Witch. The moment you step beyond Galloper's Keep, the Phantom Witch will wait for the perfect time to ambush you. If you can flee from her magic for a, f uh, for a time, you will find yourself several sh uh, Soul Shards richer. If you're caught, you will find yourself brought back to the Keep without any prize. I don't really have a need for soul shards, but uh, it sounds like fun, so we'll do that. And here's the other quest over here. Oh, I don't really need any more collectible items. The Trickster. Hi. Boo. Haha, <laughs> did I scare you with my cool mask? Hey, that's a nice horse you got. I have a cool idea. How about we go trick-or-treating together? If you wear a mask to match mine, we're bound to get even more goodies. Does my bandana thingy count as a mask? I think it does. Um... Masks are really cool, they hide your identity, which is great if you want to go around and ask people for more candy. Hint hint, you should wear one too. I think if you match the one I'm wearing, we'll get even more treats. People like to reward effort. You can pick up some masks from this shop, I've drawn my inspiration from their stock, so there's at least one mask that you can get from there that will match mine. If the mask you're looking for isn't there, you might want to check your storage. Some masks obtained from other stores might also match my prompt. I'll let you know what I think of what you're wearing before we ride off to Jorvik. Of course, we don't have to match and we'll still get candy. Let's give trick-or-treating a try here in the keep. I want to make sure your animal companion is okay with me riding them. I don't weigh much, uh, anything, <laughs> but some living beings seem to feel cold when we try to touch them. Now, if you've never gone trick-or-treating before, here's how you do it. You walk up to someone and say, trick-or-treat. Let's try that with the cute little gourds near the portal to Jorvik. I mean, I think this counts as a mask, the bandana I'm wearing, so hopefully that will be enough. Um, for her. Oh, it's, it's like sparkles after us. Okay. Little gourds! <laughs> as right in front of the gourds, their cheering and gibberish picks up. It's time to say the line. <laughs> Trick or treat! Awesome, we'll have to go to Jorvik through, though, for some actual candy. But seeing these guys happy warms my non-beating and stricting, strictly metaphorical heart. Let's go back for now. Okay. <laughs> Just back over here. I think you get the basic idea of trick-or-treating now, yeah? So for the real thing, I'll start out by looking at what you're wearing and pick a destination. You've got a bit of a hero vibe, so I bet you know tons of people across Jorvik, including those who may have candy for trick-or-treaters. Let's go! A hero vibe? Okay. You know what I never got to do before passing on? Fishing. Such a shame. I never had the time back then, but now that I have an infinite amount of time, I can't find anyone to teach me how to the few times I get to leave the keep. I'll teach you! Anyway, let's go trick-or-treating. If we met... We're bound to get even more goodies. Today my outfit is fishy. You should wear the mermaid mask if you want to match. Uh, great. So I need to buy... How, how much is the mask? 
Let me see. I don't own the mermaid mask, but if it's cheap, I might buy it just to get better stuff. It is cheap. I'm just going to buy it with some shillings. There we go. Mermaid mask. Okay. Let's go. Wait, so where are we going? <laughs> Wait. Let's step into light so I can look it better at you. Remember, you should wear the mermaid mask if you want to match. So where am I going? <laughs> I should have read it. Um. Uh, Trigger treating location is in Silverglade Village for Star Riders and Moreland Stables for Free Riders. Okay. So I guess we just leave now? Oh wait, am I supposed to stand just something over here? Oh, I'll have a look at your outfit now. Let's see. Hmm. Well, you look great. I think we're dressed as an award-winning duo for best costumes of the year. Oh yeah, because she's like a fisher and I'm the mermaid that she caught. Are you ready to go or do you want to change into something else? I'm ready. Guess let's go. Alright, Silverglade Village, here we come. I feel like I should have tested it out to see if it would work with the bandana. Well, I'm going to put the bandana back on because I don't like the mermaid mask. I kind of annoyed that I wasted my shillings on that, but it wasn't that many shillings. Next time I'll, like, test it, just in case, like, just in case any mask will work, it might work. Okay. So, I head to Silverglade Village with a ghost on me. That's fine. Okay. I would ha be happy to teach a ghost how to fish. I have plenty of experience in fishing. Although I'm not sure. Well, I guess she's wearing a hat so they can interact with inanimate objects. Should I get a picture of me and ghosty? This ghost is like really tall or like their legs are really long. It's kind of creepy. Like what's up with that? Um, okay, oh, we're just trick-or-treating all around the village. Wait, I think there was a spot back here. Hi, can I? Oh. Hey, nice costumes. Maybe you have a future as a tailor. Are you getting a lot of candy? Hmm, maybe I should try trick-or-treating. Maybe after I finish all these orders from the Bobcat girls. Okay. Well, did we get candy? Oh, it's a plant. Oh, of course, the ghost says we. <laughs> Alright. Um, here we go. Felix? Uh, it's the clicky thing. There we go. Oh, shucks. No one is shopping right now. Okay, treats today. But promise to come back for shopping soon. Be safe out there. Will do. Are we getting candy? I don't see any candy. How about you, sir? Clicky thing is hard to find. There we go. Hello, hello. Are you kids here for the volunteer job? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I tricked you. Here's a treat. Be good citizens and leave the streets tidy. No candy wrappers on the ground. Oh, how cute is this decoration? I love it. Um, where are we going next? Over here? To the vet, maybe? Yep, the vet has candy for us. Here's some treats for the three of you. Phoenix, Rain Dancer, and your friend back in there in the back. Oh, she gave Rain Dancer a treat. Probably like an apple or a carrot. That's so nice. Now, last one. Is it gonna be Steve? Well, Steve doesn't. Oh. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello, Phoenix. It's nice to see you having fun. And I see you have a new friend there. Very nice. Enjoy the treats, but don't get stomach aches. Good job today. We got plenty of candy today. We could probably get more if we synchronize our costumes next time. Let's head back to the keep. Okay. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a portal right over here. I don't know if the Witch's Gambit will reset if I go back to the keep or not. Whee! Hope not. I guess we'll find out. 
it's kind of random when it decides to show up. I think it's usually like within 25 minutes or something like that. Let's step into the light. Uh, okay, yeah. There we go. Thanks for today. Come back tomorrow for more fun. Uh, where's my candy? That's it? I didn't even get any candy? Well, that was pointless. I wanted candy. All I got was some tokens I don't need. Well, I can sell this mask. That was pointless. Is there any other rewards from that? Or is it just the tokens? I think it might just be the tokens. Okay, um, let's see, little ghosty. I still have the piece of paper, don't I? Okay, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Wait, what? Remember, once you exit the portal, there was no going back. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't reset. Uh, that was kind of disappointing. I was hoping for more candy. But we can go back out and attend to some different things. For example, the treasure hunt in Fort Pinter. That's something I've been wanting to get to for a while. Uh, we originally started working on that with Emberglow, but um, when I bring Emberglow out next, I'm actually going to take him um, to do some Mistfall quests. Well, I, we'll have to go to the mall, but then I think we should be able to continue Mistfall quests. So while we've got Rain Dancer out, we may as well go to Fort Pinter and finish the treasure hunt. Oh, I feel kind of bad because I feel like Emma should have like finished that quest line with Emberglow. It'll be fine. We'll have fun with him in Mistfall. I just, I really want to do this. Oh, is that like a club meeting over there maybe? I just really want to do this treasure hunt. Okay. Uh, complete map. I've now pieced the map together, but I don't understand it. Here's the map, Phoenix. You can have a go at fin finding the treasure. I need to take care of my customers here who want to spend money in Fort Pinter. I don't have the time right now. Come back after you find the treasure. Chip chop. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, treasure. Stores. So, I think this is. Yeah, this is based on the old Fort Pinter map. So, I'm pretty sure that's the fountain. And this looks like that area there that used to have stairs. It doesn't have stairs. Well, it does have stairs. It used to have wooden stairs. Yep, right over here. Hmm, this could be something. A loose stone in the wall. How huh, did do you really think it would be that easy? If you want Mississippi Jones's treasure, you're going to have to work for it. It won't be easy. I can't have any old fool finding my treasure. The map was only the first clue. If you want to find the next clue, you'll have to make your way to Doyle's Abbey. Go there, but don't follow the road. Go as the crow flies. Mississippi Jones. Okay, as the crow flies means a direct line. So not following the path. Let's go. Rain dance. It's a good thing I have rain dance with me because she's a very smart pony, so. Oh! Get back out of there, little bun bun. Okay, so as the crow fly. Oh, here we go! Oh, back up a little bit. You've passed my first test, but it will only get tougher. Mississippi Jones. Follow the beach towards the river. You'll find the next clue by the smallest pillar at the river's mouth. Mississippi Jones. Okay. Let's hop down here. Oops. Follow the beach towards the river. The pillars. I'm guessing maybe it's near Thorn Rocks. And let's have a splash in the water. Cool off those leggies. Okay. Kind of look like a treasure hunter, I think, right now. Or maybe like a treasure stealer. Treasure robber. Um... Pillar near the mouth. Oh, over here! That was the second clue. It wasn't so tough, was it? Follow the running water and look for a way across. You'll find the next clue right there by the water's edge. Mississippi Jones. Well, I know that there's a bridge up ahead, so I guess we'll head there. And I can pick up this plant as well. <laughs> he 
Here's the pony race, which I haven't done in ages. Oh, look how cute. Oh, whoops, that's deep water. <laughs> but look how beautiful and clear the water is. Hi, butterfly. It's so lovely along here. I, like, never ride along here. Oh, it's actually a lot further away. <laughs> the bridge is a lot further away, away than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was much closer for some reason. Okay, we gotta come up here. Alright, there's the bridge. Apparently there's a clue right near the water's edge. There's also a plant near the water's edge. Is it somewhere? Which side is it on? This side? Maybe I have to cross first? It's so over here? Don't see anything. Clue right on the water's edge. Maybe it's over here? Look down here maybe? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it scared me! It's the witch's gambit! Oh my goodness, she's chasing me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I really want to get pictures, but this is like not the time. But I really want pictures, so I might just like slow down a little bit just to take pictures. Can I slow down like a little bit and take a picture? Is she gonna get me? Oh no! I beat her! I thought it would take- it would be like much more difficult. Can I like change the time of day to darkness? There we go, that looks cool. I was hoping for a better picture. <laughs> that was actually easy. I thought it was gonna be much more difficult than that. Well, that was easy. Hi, witch! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that really startled me. I thought it was to do with the treasure hunt. Yeah, the way they were talking about the witch's gambit, I thought it was going to be way more difficult. It's actually not. That was pretty easy. And it didn't even last that long either. Like, I feel like the galloper's gambit, you had to evade him for a lot longer than that. I don't know. Here's the clue. This is getting exciting. You haven't given up yet, have you? Mississippi Jones. Stand in the center of the bridge beyond the ruler's abode. And behold the ruler's abode. Right in that direction, and before you're halfway there, you'll find the next clue. Okay. That was fun. I just, I wish I could have gotten a better picture. But yeah, I thought that'd be way more difficult than it actually was. The ruler's abode, I'm assuming, is the castle. So, let's head in a direct line that way. Or as direct as I can from the bridge. Not following the path. What was that? Oh. I think it was just a glitch. It seemed like lightning though. <laughs> Alright. Oh, here it is. You're getting close, but there's still a way to go. Find the nearest road and ride back to the place where you started the hunt. You'll find the next clue where three roads join. Okay, so here's the road right here. Oh, I hear a car, but I can't see it. Okay, three roads join. Is it this intersection? Oh, wait, no, it's not an intersection at all. <laughs> Up here, maybe? This intersection? Here we go. You're really determined to find the treasure. We're getting closer. Next to you, there is a high cliff. Ride right up on it and look for the next clue. Okay, this one? This big cliff that we usually use for, to take the hot air balloon, I'm guessing? The final clue is coming up, don't give up. You're almost there, look again towards the ruler's abode. In front of it, you'll see the Green Master's Monument. You'll find the next challenge at the foot of that monument. Green Masters. Oh, is that that, um, that circle of pillars there? I'm guessing that's what the Green Masters monument is. I can't think of anything else that would be... Oh, unless it's this thing down here. I don't think it is, though, because it's like a little... Little... Nah, this is just like a little plant. I don't know what the purpose of those little plants are. 
Maybe they're part of another quest. I don't know. I think the Green Master's Monument is this circle thing over here that we've seen before. Whee. Is it this thing? Yes! Oh, and there's pumpkins on top of it. Are they rotate? The pumpkins are rotating and floating. That's creepy. There is a note here with a new clue, but this has to be the place that Mississippi Jones meant. The rocks look a little strange. I wonder what those runes mean. These rooms seem fairly old. I might need the help of a drawer to decipher them. I should write to Valedale and speak with Alvalon right now. Really? All the way to Valedale? Okay, we're calling for pickup. I've had my home, at, uh, my whole home stable at Golden Leaf Stables for a while, but I think I might actually want to move to South Hoof. Just because I like the idea of living on an island, like, off the mainland. Where's Valedale? There we go. I don't know, and um, South Hoof Farm is, like, really cute, especially since it's been updated. It's, like, really fancy. And there's so much open space for riding around, too. Alright. Avalon, I need your help with the treasure hunt. Oh, I can't wait till this area is updated. It is long overdue. I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. Whoa. Oh, oh, there's a token spot down there. I saw the sparkles and I was like, what is that? I thought it was a plant. No, it's a token photo opportunity. Yes. Uh, that is a terrible photo. What is that? <laughs> okay. How many more do I need for that? Uh, uh, still need 10 more. Okay. What was the... Does it tell me what the information was? I think it was just like Veildale, Fergrove, Silverglade was the prompt for that one. So just any of those areas. Hey, Avalon. The old rootstone? Yes, I know that one. But I've never really thought about what the rune means. I'll go and have a look. Why don't you come back tomorrow and I'll tell you what they mean. Oh, come on! Really? Ugh. I wanted to finish it now. Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna look around. I don't need to go back to the keep. While I'm here, I'm gonna look around, see if there's any other spots for token photo opportunities around Veildale. May as well. Any in like the garden or maybe at Champs? Anything? No. Um, in front of any of these pretty houses? Or like maybe where the horses are sold? I don't know, I'm just trying to think of different locations that would make good photo opportunities to show off. Veildale. I'll do a race while I'm here and maybe as I'm racing I might see a cool token spot as I race around. Let's just do this this little race here with Sophie. Oh maybe down by the river there there might be a cool spot. I'll have a look as I'm racing by. Like down here maybe? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe by the windmill? The windmill would be a cool spot. Uh, not the windmill, watermill. I don't know. But that's cool, I have a new reputation quest I wasn't even aware of. So I'll have to keep coming back to Veildale and doing some little dailies here to help build my reputation up. Is that? No, it's a plant. Let's take a shortcut. Not seeing any spots. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> what about over near the orienteering race? No. Oh well, I'll just have to keep fighting them as I wander around Yorvik. I don't really spend too much time focusing on deliberately finding them. I kind of just tend to find them by accident. Oh yeah, and we can now jump from a trot. Wee! I don't know if the jump is higher from a trot or... 
uh, sorry, um, the same height, or if it's lower. I think it's the same height. I think it would have been better if it was, like, if we did a little jump from the trot. I think that would be cuter. So you could only clear, like, fences of a certain height if you're jumping from a trot. I don't know, I just think that'd be cool. Alright. There we go. Oh, gold! Oops. Alrighty, well, I, whoops, can I, can I, but, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.